Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here we are doing basic JavaScript understanding case sensitivity in variables. Now let's see. In JavaScript, all variables and functions names are case sensitive. This means that capitalization matters. My bar is not the same as my bar, nor my bar is it. It is possible to have multiple distinct variables the same name but different casing it is strongly recommended that for sake of the clarity you do not use this and it fit the best practice okay so so first um we're gonna we're gonna put bar here And then put bar here again. And put bar here too. Okay, so now we're gonna delete. I mean, wait, we're gonna delete this for a second. So all we gotta do is equals 10 equals 10 Now we're gonna put Now we're gonna put um, like equals a string so now this now we're going to put equals 9000 now let's run the test Names What's and that? function names in JavaScript are case sensitive. That means the capitalization matters. So this declaration here is not the same as this assignment. Even though the letters are the same, the capitalization is not the same. So it's not going to assign correctly. So now I'm just gonna copy this. So please go delete this and then put that. Now I'm gonna copy this here and then delete this and replace it what we copied. Same with this. Same with this. Notch one. Hmm, let's watch a video. Variable names and function names in JavaScript are case are the same because this has not been defined. It has not been declared. It's generally common practice to use camel case. So let me show you how we do that. Instead of studly cap var, it's going to be studly cap var. So the first letter is always going to be lowercase. And anytime you have a new word or new section of a word, you just capitalize the first letter. And so uh, we can change this. This one's correct. So now we just go down here, studly cap var, and then we just do proper camel case. 
and then title case over. So now all of these should be defined. So, so first we declare them up here, we assign them right here, and then this is not going to give us any errors. It's going to behave exactly how we want it to behave. So first we're gonna put we're gonna press reset this lesson. And then we're gonna I'm just gonna copy this, then put it over here. And then I now I'm gonna put this, copy this, then put this here. Now we're going to put this here. So now let's run. Now let's run the test. So I'm just gonna copy this. So okay, and then we're gonna delete this. Go. And then we're gonna put var. Then put bar here again. Then put bar here. Now let's run. One loop to roll them off. Okay guys, see you in my next video. Bye!